Yes, yes, yes. I know what you're thinking, kiddos. I know what you're thinking. Mr. P, why is there paint and two kinds of sheets of paper and water for your brushes and a big, huge, gigantomongous brush ear and styrofoam cups? Come on, Mr. P, what are you having us do this time? Well, okay, what we're going to do is called a multimedia piece. That means we're using several different kinds of art supplies to get all of our piece completed. That means we're going to have several different steps and it's going to be a, a bit ambitious, but I know that you can do it. <laughs> okay, so these may be a new to some of you. These are called um, oil pastels. All right, some of you may not have used them before if you don't know me. Um, if you had me last year, then of course you have. Uh, they work a lot like mini crayons, but they are a lot smoother, a lot smoother. You'll notice what I'm talking about. Or you'll figure out what I'm talking about when you start using these things. They're awesome. You're going to love them. It's almost like you're painting with crayons with these things. You're going to love it, okay? Um, what we're going to do is pattern after an artist named Vincent Van Gogh. His artwork is um, right over there on the side of the Promethean board. Here's the deal. He did a series of sunflower um, paintings and our painting or our project today is going to uh, pay tribute to Mr. Vincent Van Gogh and his series of sunflowers okay so it's gonna have several different steps the first step let me show you what it is let's get some of this stuff out of that way we're gonna need first our sheet of paper here uh, just one we can take the rest of them away and of course we're gonna need our pencil because the first thing we're gonna do is to write our name on our paper <laughs> Thank you very, very much. Now, we turn it over, and we are going to draw a straight line about one-third of the way up. Let's, let's pretend like this paper is split into three even sections. One, two, three. So about right here, we're going to draw a line going all the way across. And in one of those Vincent Van Gogh, and a lot of those Vincent Van Gogh paintings, you'll see that down here, it's kind of like the table that the vase that we're going to make is going to sit on. So this is our table, and up here is the wall behind the vase. So with this big ginormous brush, I know you was wondering what it was for, we're going to actually paint the top part of this paper one color, and then we're going to wash our brush off and paint the bottom part another color. So you can tell the difference between the wall and the table, of course. Now, that's why we have these large cups right here. Because I don't know if you were paying attention, some of you were, but these tempera paints kind of have the same property as watercolors. You add enough watercolor, add enough water in this paint, you will notice that it starts acting like watercolors. And what we're going to do is we're going to take advantage of that. So I'm going to put a few drops of green, I mean a few drops of blue, and a lot of yellow actually, because I want to make a lime green a lime green. So I put a little water on my brush and I bring that water into my styrofoam cup and I start mixing it around. And that made the lime green that I'm looking for. Okay, now I'm just going to take this lime green, make sure it has a wee bit more water, just a wee bit more water. Because we want it to be like a watercolor painting. A wee bit more water. And we're going to take this lime green and we're going to paint over the whole top of the paper. Some will get on the table, don't worry about that. We're not going to worry about some getting on the table. We'll clean that up here in just a bit. But you're going to do a quick, what's called a watercolor wash over the entire top half of your paper. 
okay? Now this takes hardly any time at all. Pay attention to that line right there. You don't want to cross over that line, okay? All right, and we have completely done the wall in our painting. Our Van Gogh themed painting, done. Now we're gonna rinse our brush, rinse our brush, rinse our brush. And the bottom part, the table, uh, I think I'm gonna do a, maybe a plum color. So a little bit of red, maybe a few more drops of blue. All right, and then we're gonna get our rinsed brush, washed, rinsed brush. We're gonna circle that around in there. Notice we did have it dripping with a little water because we're doing the watercolor thing again. Put a little bit more water in there, okay? And we do the same thing along the bottom of the page. I'm gonna turn it sideways, about like that. I'm gonna start at the top. We'll try to get that in just right first. And then go ahead and do the other part. Get a little bit more paint. Now I put the paint in the styrofoam cups this time so that uh, we can keep using it if we need to class after class. If you see a color that you like that's already created on the table, then you can use that color. If it's not quite the color you want it, then you can add a little bit more uh, of the primary colors to get it just the way you want it. All right, so we're not throwing away these. We're gonna keep those. Sit that off to the side. This has to dry, of course. So this is actually the end of this particular part until after it dries. So we're gonna take this and sit this over to the side. Next step, we're gonna have one of these small sheets of paper, all right? We're gonna take that sheet of paper and we're going to draw, well, first we have to write our name on it again. <laughs> yes, and then we're gonna draw ourselves a pattern. I kinda am partial to wavy lines, like so. So I'm gonna draw a wavy line pattern. You don't need any more than maybe four lines on there. That'll create one, two, three, four, five spaces that we're going to color with the oil pastels. And believe it or not, once we color in our pattern, we're going to turn this small sheet of paper into the vase for our picture. So you choose two of the oil pastels. Um, I think I'm going to do this blue and probably this yellowish orange. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and start coloring it in. You're gonna notice how smooth it is. I want you to do your best to stay within the lines that you drew. Um, to tell you the truth, for the sake of time, I've already done this step. So I'm gonna do a little movie magic. Ta-da! <laughs> and it's already done for you. And this is where we're gonna stop for this particular lesson. You're going to have your watercolor wash completely done. That's first. And then you're gonna sit it to the side and you're gonna do your pattern. Now, I don't know if you're gonna finish the whole pattern. If not, we'll finish it next class. One other cool thing about oil pastels is once you color everything in, you can take your finger and you can smear the color and it can cover up some of those white spaces. I'll show you what I mean, I'm not gonna do all of it, but see the white spaces that's left in that area? You see that? Okay, watch this. I'm gonna smooth it with my finger and it covers those white spaces up. Covers them up, covers them up. So you can do that to kind of help you get rid of the white spaces in your vase, just to help it look neater. Okay, 
Now you do this after you finish coloring everything, okay? You can do one finger per color, and I can go to this one, and I can go to this one, and then I use my second finger to do the other color. I'm not gonna do that for time's sake though. All right, so once we get everything colored, you're gonna fold it in half like a hot dog. Fold it like a hot dog. And with the pencil, you're going to draw a letter S on one side. Now, start the S on the open end. The S starts on the open end. If you turn it this way and start the S right here, that's gonna be the wrong way, okay? You wanna draw your S starting from the open end of the paper. A big S. See that? The letter S. Once you get that S drawn, that's when you grab the scissors and you cut it out. Now you're not just going to cut this side out. You're going to cut both sides at the same time. Kind of like symmetry. We're going to cut one side, but it's actually going to end up cutting both sides at the same time. And this is what's going to create our vase. Ta-da! Ooh, yeah, Mr. P, that's awesome. Now, let me go back to why you put your name in the middle. If you put it on either one of these ends, it might get cut off. So, uh oh oh, that's right, I didn't put my name on this one. Ta! This is the movie magic one, Mr. P. But, just in case you made a mistake, and your name got cut off, go back and double check and you can put your name on there then, okay? And that's pretty much it, guys. That's all we're gonna do today. We want to complete our vase. Next class is gonna be um, the flowers and we're gonna put it all together in that class too. So, I want you to go and have fun.